question is, um, what's the purpose of life? Well, that's a real hard one, isn't it, huh? Really? That's, that's... Oh my god. Do you know how many people written, have written books Thank on you. that? The purpose of life is fashion. <laughs> Think about that you're in a journey and you're going from A to B. You don't know where you're coming from. You don't know the train or the plane you're in, where it is going, but it's inevitable that you are in that journey. You didn't choose to be there. You don't have any say about your destination. You're going there full speed and you're just totally blank. Think about what, how stressed would that person be? That's why knowing the purpose of life is very, very important to connect the dots between our beginning, our end, and give a meaning to what we are having in between. Regardless of your faith or, not, or having no faith, this truth still stands. If we put all our investment for this worldly life, then it will end 60, 70, 80 years in the, uh, down the line. If, even if you're the richest person in the world, even if you're the healthiest person in the world, even if you lead a hap happy life in every single day of your life, in the end it will end. You're in a dead loop right now. All the tools that we define to lead a better life, they became our purpose in this life. For example, we go to school and we try to get a uh, de get degree from the university. In fact, this was a tool. Why we, did we want that tool? To have a better life, that you can get a professional job and you can get lead a, an easier life. But by losing our direction in this life, we made all our tools as our um, purpose in this life. Buying a new flat is our purpose in this life. Buying a car is an, our new purpose in this life. That's so dangerous because when someone buys that flat that he was dreaming for five years, he just feels very empty. He says, then what? It's very important to get out of this dead loop and saying that, look, all of these things, that are, all of these are tools and they will one day perish. All these things that, that are temporary, they're transient, they cannot be the purpose of this whole being, whole existence. Then we have to get back a little bit, get out of this zoom out and then cool out and say that, hey, let me think about it. Is there more to this life than meets the eye? When I go out there today and ask this, ask the, uh, this simple question of what's the purpose of life to the Melburnians, what I expect is, um, as I expressed earlier, I expect them not to have thought about it very deeply, but at the same time, I expect them to say um, like an aha moment, yes, this is a question that I always wanted to answer. Some will run away from the question. Maybe some of them say, I don't know the answer. Do you have any? Um, so m mostly I'm expecting these two reactions. What is the purpose of life? Uh, for me, it's to enjoy every single moment, like it could be your last, to try everything that you, that you haven't tried before and to do everything. And it doesn't matter too much about what everybody else says, just to get out there and do everything because you don't know. Next day you could get hit by a tram. In terms of the purpose of life, now I would consider myself a humanist. I don't know. Like, it's not just about like vocation or job or things like that, you know. I think it's like a certain energy, you know, and you have to protect your heart. I think, I think that's what we're here for. Like, it's a test. Um, is to try and enjoy it and make help other people enjoy it. Really, to be nice to each other. Um, Learn from your mistakes. In terms of the meaning of life, I think that we exist and our meaning is therefore to continue on existing um, through whatever means we decide to exist. So whichever belief structure you wish to follow, as long as it has the benefit of uh, the existence of humanity together, then yes, that's, that's what I think our existence is. Very hard to protect the heart in this this sort of secular template that they build for us. Why? What do you think your purpose of life is? Uh, my, what I think about my purpose of life is that I believe that design requires a designer. Yeah. And I think I believe that a designer and a creator put all of us on this world. Do you believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God, yes. Okay. Definitely. And what has God told you to do? God told us, told us to submit our will to His will because He created us. Created us. He but what does He want you to do? Um, he wants us to follow his instruction in this life because... And what are his instructions? What are his instructions to worship him only? Not the creation, but the creator. And but to like, follow his instructions. I get that, but what does he want us to do? The, the most fundamental thing is that he wants us to worship him. 
to bless his name. You can't do that for 24 hours a day. You don't, you don't need to, for, but the worship does not mean that any ritual that you live in. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Worship means that you're leading a life that will please him. That's right. We, well, we just rush around. We do our own thing, you know what I mean? Pay the bills sort of thing. But no one, this is like a, this is a good question. What happens when you're hit by a tram? Um, then you go back into the to a burial plot or get burned and your body goes into the ground and it um, worms eat your body, it turns back into grass, things eat the grass, you know, circle of life. Who cares about that, really? <laughs> when it happens, it happens and I'm not going to know any different. <laughs> so we'll take it as it comes. Maybe I'll end up re reincarnating as a monkey. <laughs> Who knows? That's the mystery of life. What I extract is maybe there might be something more than to life than enjoying all. Yeah, I'll listen to you putting words in my mouth. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I have no offense intended. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Do you? Yeah, I do. I do think that there is a creator and a creator and like, you know, to serve a purpose. But I don't think and, and yeah, I think that you should leave your lead your life in faith and in favour of... Ugh. Yeah, I, I believe in that. I said to someone the other day that nothing is a coincidence, you know? And even now, me walking around, you know, I'm supposed to meet someone. How am I here in this space and time? When you have, when you go and buy an iPhone, um, where do you go to? What, when you want to learn about the instructions, how you should use best, and how can you cultivate the best benefit for, out of it? What we, we all do, we say that Apple has manufactured this, and we go and look at the user's manual, because these guys, they designed it, and they produced it, so we go and look at their instructions. Nobody says, this is my iPhone, I will use it my way. Everybody says that this iPhone is designed by Apple, and they will know the best. And it's the, following the same parallel, that we all we're, uh, we're all designed and created by God as supreme being. And uh, it is more befitting for him to tell us, this is your purpose of life, this is why I created you, rather than our own guesswork saying that I must have been created for this purpose. That's um, For this reason, I was looking for um, a way to get this connection with God. I said, if there is a design in this universe, there should be a designer. If there is a product in this uh, universe, there should be a producer. So how can I get close to him and how can I get his message? Um, to me.